Well, good morning, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion, and today we are going to do a very, very exciting vlog. This is actually gonna be something that will be very unique to us because we're going to the future. We are going to visit a historical moment that has not happened yet. We're going to Riverside, Iowa. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. All right, you can see we've made it to Riverside, home of the Highland Huskies, but there's also a sign over there that says Voyage Home Star Trek Museum. That ties in with what we're coming out here to see, so we're definitely gonna hit that. Let's head on into Riverside. Take a look at the sign they just found. Riverside, where the trek begins. Well, I think we found what we are looking for. The future birthplace of Captain James Tiberius Kirk. It's right here behind this salon, which used to be a barber shop, and I'm gonna tell you the whole crazy story behind this today. Let's go see the birthplace of Captain Kirk. There's a birthplace sign up there. See, so follow this little trail back here. It actually takes you to a what looks like almost a cemetery marker. It says Riverside, Iowa. Future birthplace of Captain James T. Kirk, March 22nd, 2228. That also, March 22nd, also happens to be William Shatner's birthday as well. Take a look at this mural. Isn't that cool? And they put a little contemplation memorial bench here. This was not always here. At one point it was just a marker with a ribbon on it. So if you're wondering how this all came about, it was because in the making of Star Trek book that was made in 1968, Gene Roddenberry said that Captain Kirk would be born in a small town in Iowa in 2228. Now, uh, a huge Trekkie fan named Steve Miller was a councilman here in Riverside and he decided, well, since they didn't name what town it was, I'm just gonna put it on our um, next council meeting. I'm gonna bring it up and see if we can adopt Riverside as the future home of Captain James T. Kirk and that's exactly what happened. They ended up in 1985 passing it and changed even the town slogan to match their new slogan, Where the Best Begins, and they changed it to Where the Trek Begins. And the reason that the marker is back here, when I told you there was one, say, just a stick with a ribbon, it's because Steve Miller owned the barber shop that was once here that is now the salon. And so he made the birthplace right behind his building. <laughs> and there's even a little, uh, little Starship Enterprise donation box here. Now also what's really cool about this is that thanks to Steve Miller doing this and getting the town to agree to this, when they made the reboot movie in 2009, they actually identified Riverside as Captain Kirk's birthplace. Now that we've seen this, I think it's only fitting to go visit the museum here in town. It's also kind of neat, a little added bonus that I noticed walking out of here was, look down here on the ground, there's the Enterprise. So of course the entire town kind of embraced this and they used to have something called Riverfest here every year. They changed it to Trekfest. Good tourism for the town. Well, you can see we have found it <laughs> and an advertisement for Riverside, Iowa's annual Trekfest, the official birthplace of Captain James T. Kirk. And it happens the last Saturday in June. <laughs> this is so cool to see. My dad was a huge fan of the original Star Trek. And here's the museum. The Voyage Home. History and Star Trek exhibits. Free admission also. Here you can see on the windows you've got the Star Trek emblem. And then you've got the Enterprise on that one. 
I want you for Starfleet. And then this bench even says, presented by William Shatner. Live long and prosper. You know I'm a sucker for t-shirts. Oh, take a look at this. This is great. Oh, there's the Gorn. And then Kirk and Spock. What's really interesting is that Captain Kirk was not the original captain of the very first episode, the pilot episode. So this is a wooden carving of Captain Kirk and it says that this was a chainsaw carving. It was the first one done in Riverside in 1994. It was the first likeness of Captain Kirk. That's funny. The many emotions of Mr. Spock. Look, they're all the exact same. <laughs> Up here, all their various Trek Fest shirts from over the years. That one is really cool. Oh wow, check this out. Right away you see the do not touch, it's because it's Data's desk. Used in Next Generation and Voyager series. That's really cool to see because I know my friend Breck is a huge fan of this show and especially Data. That's really cool. Look at it. You can, if you look at this piece right here, right in between the, and then you look over here at the photo, you can tell they've repainted it, but it's the same exact desk. In fact, where he's sitting right there would be that right there. If you look at this one where the lip of the desk goes up there, I'll show you over here. So there's that lip right there. Now here they have an exhibit of the women of Star Trek. Yeah, they're more that size. Okay, they're more that size. And here we have various signed photos. There's Scotty. I mean, it kind of runs the gamut of the whole series. See? Wow, I didn't realize that was Sally Kellerman. Thank goodness you don't have a camera. Well, they really have a lot of signed photos. I mean, that's incredible. They've gotten most of the cast, it looks like. And take a look at this. This set desk. Very strong here. Very strong. Command center. And it looks like these are from the reboot. Yeah, you cannot ignore the eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, so the local high school built this. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I think we should sit down in it and see what it's like. Ah, here I am in the captain's chair. But I think that was one of the last appearances Leonard Nimoy made in the uh, Star Treks. And of course, Star Trek has always had those action figures, so these are the new badge. Take a look at that toy. And then over here. And they have this display because, believe it or not, NASA got quite a few ideas from Star Trek. So there's a Astronauts jacket on loan.
And there's some of the actors. You can see Sulu there. Now take a look in here. There's all kinds of fun stuff in here we're gonna get a look at. Right here it's a lot of cast signed photos from one man's collection. Ron Warren. See, he's gotten just about everybody you could want. Looks like there's a cast photo. There's our boy, Captain Kirk. Yeah, like I was saying, William Shatner and Captain Kirk were not originally on the original pilot in 1964. They had a guy named Jeffrey Hunter who was the captain and that pilot was rejected. And once they got the approval to make another pilot, Jeffrey Hunter was not available, so they went with William Shatner. It was a collection of Star Trek plates. I thought it was really interesting. I found interviews with Leonard Nimoy how he was saying, you know, the show originally was only on for three years, but it had a cult following that started up the conventions and everything, and it took on a whole new life for like 10 years after. And then when Star Wars came out, Everybody got back into Star Trek again, so they made another movie. This is such a blast from the past, huh? There's a briefing room monitor. The log book it says live long and prosper. And some of the round playing cards. And here we have Spock's brain tool. It's cool that somebody took all the time to recreate all these things to make replicas of them. The data card reader. The data cards. And then the desktop monitor. I'll take a look at all the merchandise. This is crazy. The hat and shoes are cracking me up. Look at those shoes. Klingon Batleth. There's the live long and prosper hands. Crazy chessboard. Look in the photo over there, you can see Spock and Kirk with one. Star Trek logger and party napkins. Welcome to Billville. Then here we have Quantum Destiny. Then over here they created a transporter. Isn't that neat? <laughs> and that sign that says, videos and photos are logical here. And this is one of William Shatner's outfits. So here we have a certificate of authenticity that says Star Trek Voyager Harry Kim stunt Starfleet uniform costume is in this case. Well, there's two of them in there. Here we have another, one of the female. <laughs> wow, take a look at that. All the different versions. Spacecrafts. Now both of these cases right here contain, looks like every episode of the original, is it 78 episodes? Looks like they have all of them. All three seasons. And that is a signed poster, it says 25 years in the final frontier. So that's signed by many 
stars of the Star Trek universe. And then here's a wall that is dedicated to all of the aliens of Star Trek, of which there were many. Oh, take a look at that. Cornflake boxes that you could just cut the mask out yourself. And a little bit of Vulcan ale for the road. Then here's a signed photo of the original cast. That is a cast signed photo of the Next Generation cast. I think we should get some sort of shirt on the way out, don't you? There's a signed photo of the man from this town, Captain James T. Kirk. It's funny when you open the door to come in, it makes the sound of the sliding doors. There's a bust of Captain Kirk down here, him with it. Some really great shirts here. Thinking of getting one of those koozies for Breck. Oh, awesome Spock ears. All right, we are not entirely done here in town. There's one more thing I want to show you guys before we take off. I did end up buying that Captain Kirk shirt and I did get Breck that koozie. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you guys is right across the street, right over here in this park. Little homage to the man down here with his own statue in his birthplace town. How cool is that? I'm totally down for towns doing stuff like this. I think they should. If something like that's mentioned, make it a tourist attraction for your town. And I guess someone left some walkie-talkies in case Kirk needs them. I don't know. All right, my friends, it's your old pal Jordan the Lion saying, hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you're ever out here near Riverside, Iowa, stop by and go to that museum, check out Captain Kirk's birthplace. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you all next time. Live long and prosper. Goodbye. Yeah.